What's up guys? So if you're watching this video, it's probably because you've heard of the name WordPress because you're looking to start your first website. If that's the case, then I highly recommend sticking around till the end of the video. But first, let's answer the question of what is WordPress? Simply put, WordPress is just a software that you use to build your very own website or blog and publish it on the internet. It is also called a content management system or CMS for you tech whizzes out there that like the lingo. It was created back in 2003 and since then it has become one of the most popular website publishing programs in the world. In fact, WordPress powers 30% of the internet. That's a lot of freaking websites. And guess what the best part is? It's free. Why? Because WordPress is an open source software, meaning that there's thousands of software engineers out there that are working on it every day to make it better and better. So shout out to those silent guardians, watchful protectors, those, this is a Batman quote. The beauty of WordPress is that you're able to choose from 11,000 different themes, which are just template layouts that determine the look and style of your website. You're able to tweak all of the text, including fonts and font sizes, you can create buttons, you can upload your images and videos, and much more. You can also choose from over 55,000 plugins and widgets to help optimize the functionality of your website. So this is for people that want to maybe start a store, or open up a gallery, or whatever it is on their website. There's endless opportunity. Oh, and building your website with WordPress is all online. So you can build your website from anywhere that you are as long as you have an internet connection. So how does WordPress work? Well, back when the internet was still somewhat of a new thing, the only way to make a website was to use code in HTML or PHP format. And your web browser would just interpret this code into colors and text and spaces that would form your website. Well, WordPress works exactly like this, except no coding. Basically, it takes any change that you make on your website and updates the code for you and then updates your website. So never touching coding. Thank God, because that stuff is like Japanese to me. I'm American. Now, if you're looking to make your first website, you may or may not have noticed that there's a WordPress.com and a WordPress.org. So you might be wondering, well, which one should I choose? Well, WordPress.com is where you can go to make a free website with their web hosting. But there's a catch. Actually, there's several catches. First, your website could be deleted at any time if WordPress feels that you have violated their terms of service for any reason. This is because, number two, you can't use ads to make money with your website. Number three, you can't upload any plugins which help you optimize the functionality of your website. Number four, you can't upload a customizable theme. You only have their limited options. Number five, you do not own your domain name. So it will say something like yourdomainname.wordpress.com. And you're likely here because you wanna make your first website with your very own unique domain name and no limitations. If that's the case, you're gonna to wanna to be self-hosted and use wordpress.org, which is just where you can download their free software. Let me explain. By being self-hosted, you have access to thousands of plugins. You have a unique domain name that you own yourself. You have the ability to monetize your website with ads, if you're trying to make those dollar dollar bills. You have the option to create an online store, and you have complete customization over your website. So how do you create a self-hosted website with WordPress? If you go over to createaprowebsite.com, I created a completely free step-by-step -step guide that walks you through the whole process of creating your first website with WordPress. And you can do it in under 30 minutes. I walk you through getting your hosting, selecting your domain name, and customizing your website. So check it out, I'll stick a link in the description for you. And before you go, every new subscriber and like that I get on this video helps my humble channel grow. So if you wouldn't mind, smash that red subscribe button, give this video a like, and I will see you on the next video.